Hello LEGO fans, Bricks Unbound here with a room tour video. Don't remember if I've done one of these before or not for this room, but I just got a bunch of new shelves put up along this wall here, as you can see. And I wanted to do a video on those, figured, hey, might as well just do a tour of the entire room. Uh, so let's go ahead and step in, take a quick look around here. Quite a bit going on here, it's very, very full of Lego and Meg Constructs uh, sets and parts and now all that good stuff. We'll start with these uh, shelves though since that is the reason I started this video. They're just wire shelving like utility shelves. I got them at Target. I think they're on sale over the past week or so. We've got adjustable shelves uh, so I could uh, fit these tubs underneath it perfectly. I can get two of them there stacked up and then full of sets both already built and to be built and to be parted out. So this shelf over here is mainly sets to be parted out and or built. There'll probably be some duplicates in there that you might notice. That is because I got them on sale at some point for the parts and haven't actually parted them out yet. I'm pretty bad at doing that so I think having them out in the open like this will help me uh, be more inspired to do that because these boxes just piled here don't look nearly as good as having some finished sets and things on display. So this first section is mainly uh, it's got some Ninjago, it's got some superhero sets, friends, <laughs> quite quite the mess to be worked through. Some Nexonites things on top, not really on display, they're just kind of sitting there at the moment. This next shelf though is more of a display sh ready shelf-ish because it's my Star Wars uh, ships and things they originally divided up kind of by which trilogy they go with, but the Imperial Shuttle Tiderium was too tall to fit on any of the other shelves, so it got moved up top. But I like I like Star Wars sets. I don't necessarily go out of my way to collect them all. Um, I do get some of them as gifts from family members, uh, which is fine. I really like Star Wars. Um, in fact, while I was setting this up, I was marathoning the Star Wars movies while I was moving this room around. But a few unbuilt Star Wars ones, again I don't really collect them so I don't have too many of that to go. And then on this shelf is where I have moved the modular buildings. They used to be on some of the white shelving that is back behind us right now. But they fit just perfectly <laughs> onto these shelves uh, with the exception of the Palace Cinema which is sitting up top. It was just a little too tall. That top shelf is a mess right now. It was mainly, what are things that are too tall to fit on the other shelves? And I set them up there. It was kind of nice to get the Arkham Asylum back together underneath here. The watchtower doesn't really fit under here. Uh, it just kind of barely did if you fit parts just up between the wires and things. Uh, so the wire shelves aren't necessarily ideal uh, because Lego has lots of little parts that tend to fit and fall and break off down through the wires, but they do allow for light to get under the shelves to hit the sets on display there, so I th that was an okay trade-off. It's not too hard to just stick some plates on to sets so they don't fall through. And I think getting the light through to the sets so you can actually see them is much better than if it would have been just some solid wooden shelves or something. Just way too dark to really see anything. Moving our way down here, I have a little work space is what this is going to be. Uh, yes, part of my superhero collection is laying there because unfortunately this last shelf overlapped with about half of one of the base plates. So I'm going to be either just shifting all these over as far as they can go because I think this third one will then fit here again or doing some kind of rearranging with where things are on display. Have Harry Potter up on this wall. A lot of the figs are missing because they are wandering around Hogwarts at the moment. <laughs> anyway, back to the workspace here. So you can see there's some parts over here. I got some parts over here. There's some more parts down underneath the table <laughs> along here. Plenty to uh, work on there, especially once I finally get these other sets parted out. But this will be a little workspace where I can film reviews and uh, mock videos of smaller things. Hogwarts sections are beginning to get a little too large to uh, have them over here. It's a lot easier to just leave them where they're going to be with the castle itself. 
this section still needs to be organized. It's uh, quite a mess right now. There's some more mocks from my city over here. There's the Hall of Justice itself. It's got several of the superhero figs still trapped back behind it because of course I set it here before I uh, took the figs out. So that's also why that superhero display was a little bit empty. There's several that are still in sets and then several that are stuck in the Hall of Justice. This section of shelving has been here for quite a while. Uh, I really like the look of it. I think these white shelves, the cube shelves, uh, worked really well for it because they previously they could fit the modular building just perfectly. They can fit these shelves here or these uh, sterilite drawers. They can fit uh, these like sorting container things in them. They were just the right size uh, <laughs> to fit. They can fit a base plate in them. It's just perfect for that. Anyway, this first section is uh, mainly Nexo Knights, and then it does have uh, these storage containers here. Got some plant parts in it, got some mini fig parts. Next section down is Mega Constructs Pokemon. I do have the complete collection minus San Diego Comic Con Gengar and um, the new Detective Pikachu line, but I do have the rest of the collection. Not necessarily built but I do own them all and they're not necessarily all here either because some of the boxes are a little too large to fit in here. But I like that line, it's pretty fun. Uh, I don't really do a whole lot of other Mega Constructs uh, purchases, but I like Pokemon, always have, grew up with it, so that's gonna be there. <laughs> uh, Destiny's Bounty, that is a fantastic set if you haven't gotten it yet. Uh, it's probably still available in some stores it's probably coming towards the end of its lifespan, though, but it's a very nice ship build. And some other random mocks and parts and things stacked up here. There's all the railroad tracks that are in the city. There's that uh, Themyscira Wonder Woman mock. And next section down is Minecraft, which is very unfinished. The uh, nether is the most finished part of it at the moment. I have done a video on that. You can see, especially with that, what I'm talking about with the light uh, being blocked if they're solid shelves compared to the wire shelves. Um, but with these, it won't matter anyway because there's so much stuff on top. So on top here, I do plan on doing like a cave system underneath, maybe working its way up, and then an overworld section up above that. So it's going to be huge whenever I get back to building Minecraft, which needs to happen because this is a mess here and I'm getting kind of tired of looking at it. Speaking of messes, this last section also needs some work. Uh, this is where the modular buildings were previously sitting. So a lot of other stuff just kind of got shoved into the open space because as soon as something opened up, it was like, okay, what can I put there to get out of the way? So it will be reorganized. Got Ninjago City there, probably my favorite set I've ever built. Uh, just for the all the different techniques used in it and the Tower of Orthanc, which is also a fantastic set. Got some stormtroopers scaling it and then down in front are the bleachers that used to be in my park in my city. I think back at my old house. Uh, but there's some random Star Wars figs on that side and then sig figs for YouTubers on the other. And the last section of shelf here is instructions. So I do try to keep my instructions sorted by theme. As you can see there, they're labeled, not all of them. I need to go back through and do another organization because you probably notice all these instructions piled over here, which I think is what's inside those boxes as well. So I need to do another round of organization here. I'll probably need to, well, definitely eventually, need to figure out a different shelf. This one is packed full. Stuff's getting stacked on top. <laughs> Uh, so I just need to get a new taller shelf or maybe one that can kind of do a corner there. That'd be kind of neat. Some more parts bins down here, which is not an ideal spot for those because they're so far away from the building area. But it's all a work in progress. And that really does it. The last thing is just those tables in the center, which is where Hogwarts sits. Look, it's getting some rock work done. That'll be nice. <laughs> Um, and then again, more more storage is basically what's all around underneath the tables. So that will do it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this look into the madness that is my Lego room, and I'll keep coming back for more videos. 
Also, let me know what methods you use to store your LEGO if you use these wire shelving that I have installed, uh, what your sorting solutions are. It's, it's all very interesting to see what other people do uh, to hopefully improve my own system, because right now it is a bit of a mess. But stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching.